Hi everyone, uh, today I'm releasing version 2.3 of the uh, Physic Eagle project. <coughs> now uh, don't worry, this time around I uh, deleted a lot of stuff that was not necessary, like the uh, automotive material pack for example, and I have managed to cut down the size of the project to 17 megabytes instead of 900. Uh, yeah, I was kind of lazy with the last update. Uh, I didn't do that, and so uh, yeah, I didn't quite realize how big the, the project would be. So uh, yeah, 17 megabytes, uh, it's going to be a hell of a lot more fast to download. Uh, the next thing is, I've redid, again, the acceleration system for the vehicle. Uh, now instead of using, you know, real world uh, values, you simply input what you want the end result to be. Like for example, for each gear, you set up uh, the speed you want them to go for each gear, and then you have a curve for acceleration that you can tweak. And uh, so you, you, you can get the exact same results as before, except a lot faster, a lot easier. And uh, yeah, overall the behavior is much better. For example, you don't have that last gear accelerating twice as fast as the first one. So, uh, yeah, all, all these little stuff you can go ahead and play with and tell me what you think of it. Uh, also, in this update, I include the Physic player bond, which you can hit with the cars and uh, dismember. <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's not perfect yet. For those of you who've seen the last video, uh, I just finished working on them. Uh, they're still kind of glitchy in multiplayer, but they're perfectly fine for uh, you know single player and stuff. So don't worry, I'll keep working on them until they're perfect. And uh, yeah, at least for now you can play with them. And you know they they still work in multiplayer even if it's not perfect. So. Uh, they're still definitely usable. And uh, lastly, I finally managed to add some skid marks to the tires when they're drifting. So without further ado, here's what this all looked like. Okay, now you can see I hit the player. Boom, player's dead. And then, okay. These are the skid marks. Now uh, they're not, you know, pretty or anything, because I'm not an artist. <laughs> but uh, they're smooth. They're smooth, and there's one for each wheels, just like the smoke decal. <clears throat> and so it's definitely a solid base to start making your own pretty skid marks. Uh, the way I did this was using the uh, ribbon particle system. So yeah, they work really nicely and uh, they give some really nice looking smooth curves. And uh, yeah, they're great, I think, even though they're only squares for now. Well, squares. I should say, you know, solid lines. They don't have any textures to them or any opacity mask. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, you can see the vehicle is, uh, it doesn't have much materials left. Like I said, I wanted to cut down the size, so I did that. <clears throat> okay, now what do you need to know in order to get the project working properly? Okay, so first thing you should know before trying to uh, integrate these vehicles in your project is that uh, when you respawn the player, when you exit the vehicle, uh, you're actually going to have a cast to the custom pawn 
to uh, be able to make them simulate physic. So, if you don't plan on using my custom pawn with the vehicles, what you should do is open up the master blueprint, uh, go into the unpossessed vehicle, and uh, yeah, delete this. That is basically the part that says when you get out of the car, uh, you're gonna you know spawn the player and possess it as usual. Then you're gonna cast the player to a custom class. And if the car is going over a certain speed, then you're gonna trigger the ragdoll. So if you don't use my pawn, then you just delete this. Uh, both on the car and onto the passenger blueprint as well. And then it won't give you any errors. Uh, also, a lot of you people seems to not realize that some of the project settings are modified. So, the maximum angular velocity here by default is set to something like 3000. Now, if you leave it uh, at 3000, it's gonna stop the wheels from accelerating at about 60 kilometers per hour. So, when you take that vehicle to another project, you gotta be sure to make that value plenty big enough so that it doesn't limit the speed of your car. That's very important. And I believe that was the only setting I changed. Uh, I might have played with the, uh, you know, the simulation sub-stepping, but that's totally optional, so... Uh, okay, so yeah, that was it for, uh, for this update. Now, uh, there's a few more things I wanted to say. Uh, first of all, I am almost uh, reached a hun uh, hundred, no, no, a thousand subs. So uh, the exact number, I believe, is 981. So uh, that's really cool. Keep it coming. I'm really looking forward to getting a thousand so I can make a special video and probably release something really cool. And uh, yeah, also I'd like to know what you people do with this project. I mean, uh, if you're working in the, uh, on a game and planning on, you know, using these vehicles in it, I'd really like to uh, hear about it, and see what you're doing, and uh, things like that. And also, uh, you know, as usual, uh, any suggestions are welcome. For example, uh, a guy on YouTube in the comments suggested that I made the car configuration on external files so that you can swap them and uh, at first I didn't really understand why but uh, yeah it's actually a really good idea and I'm gonna do that really soon so uh, basically what that would uh, what that would be is uh, instead of setting you know the acceleration and the, the gear ratio and RPM and all that inside the blueprint you can have all these variables in external files and you can have several of them for one vehicle so that if you were to do a, an upgrade menu for the cars you can simply swap which one you're using to uh, you know create different performance config for each vehicles just to make your customization easier during the game right so that's one thing i'm gonna do and uh yeah yeah, so, uh, you know, keep go, uh, keep posting some ideas. Uh, if you find bugs, please tell me. <laughs> uh, I really want to fix these. And so, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy this version of the project. And, uh, yeah, if you don't mind, uh, just hit that subscribe button. It's going to help me a lot. I'm actually really hoping to get enough views to potentially monetize the videos so that I can actually make money with this without asking people for money. That'd be great. So yeah, if you don't mind uh, helping me with that, that'd be, uh, that'd be really appreciated. And so that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.